A day after penning an open letter to her late husband, the wife of Chris Cornell has spoken in detail about the final conversation she had with the rocker. And she has revealed a number of chilling details in the process. On Wednesday, Cornell's wife Vicky released a lengthy message to the late singer, who hanged himself in a Detroit hotel room earlier this month. We had the time of our lives in the last decade and I'm sorry, my sweet love, that I did not see what happened to you that night, she wrote in a letter posted to Billboard.com, adding. I'm sorry you were alone, and I know that was not you, my sweet Christopher. Your children know that too, so you can rest in peace. Cornell had two kids with Vicky and a third child from a previous relationship. Meanwhile, on Thursday night, TMZ published excerpts from Vicky's final conversation with Cornell, which the website reports took place by phone about a half hour before Cornell ended his own life. According to friends, Vicky says Cornell started slurring his words as he expressed anger over the set he had just played in Detroit. They effed up again. They had three days to fix my in-ears and I was getting static. I couldn't hear, the artist complained to Vicky, adding over and over that I blew my voice. I blew my voice. Cornell then changed the topic abruptly, making very little sense to his wife. She could sense something was seriously wrong. I need to know what you took tonight, Vicky asked, well aware of Cornell's history of drug abuse. You don't sound right sweetheart. Replied the singer, I was really angry and I just took to it even. I'm really pissed and I had to calm myself down. But Vicky pressed for more information. She said it didn't sound like Cornell merely took it even. She also made a point ahead of time of saying I forgive you for falling off the wagon. TMZ writes that Cornell grew cocky and aggressive which prompted Vicky to flash back to 14 years ago when he almost died from an Exicontin overdose. After Cornell continued to ramble incoherently, Vicky called the star's bodyguard and demanded he go check on Cornell. The bodyguard eventually knocked down two doors to get inside Cornell's hotel room. And that was when he saw the singer's body hanging in the bathroom. In a disturbing new detail only just revealed now, Vicky was apparently still on the phone with the bodyguard when this horrible discovery took place. I'm broken, but I will stand up for you and I will take care of our beautiful babies. I will think of you every minute of every day and I will fight for you, Vicky wrote in her aforementioned open letter, concluding as follows. You were right when you said we are soulmates. It has been said that paths that have crossed will cross again, and I know that you will come find me and I will be here waiting. I love you more than anyone has ever loved anyone in the history of loving and more than anyone ever will. Always and forever, your Vicky. Insiders had connected with the investigation previously told TMZ that emergency technicians who responded to the scene saw fresh track marks on Cornell's arm. Vicky has said he was known to have used needles in his earlier substance abuse battles and she had just been walking with him the day before. She says he was in short sleeves and there were no signs at that time of track marks on his arms. It's all very sad. We continue to send our condolences to the loved ones of Chris Cornell and we hope he's resting in peace at last.